Worlds, meet Annie Opal. She has a little bit of opal in one of her eyes, which you can't see. She's our new family member. Rosalind has chosen not to be here for this filming, but she's actually, I don't know if you can see her. Yep, right there, right there. Oops, she's hiding, but she is here. So self-confidence, thinking about self-confidence and how it pertains to letting go. So the only way that we can really love something fully, including ourselves, another, is if we're not afraid to lose it because fear is the opposite of love. And so if fear is present, then, it, it, you know, no judgment. It just means that we're not able to love fully. And so part of the way that we can love anything fully and with the, the freedom that, that true love offers, which is you do you, boo, I'm always here, right? That's, that's love. That's real unconditional love. There's no control. There's no fear, which the need to control comes from fear. It's just, hey, I'm, I'm over here. I'll, I'm over here. I'll be here for you if you want to be, and, and I'll love you as you are. So the only way that we can do that is by being okay whatever form that love takes, right? Uh, so say in the case of a romantic relationship, we know that we're going to be okay whether we're in the relationship or whether we're not. And honestly, I mean, this sounds morbid, but it's also realizing that about every loved one in our life, like that we would be okay with them, with, <laughs> that we are okay with them, and we would be okay without them. Because also, the truth about that is that it's that letting go is coming from a realization that the truth of your relationship with that person isn't the physical. Like when I come to a place where I say, I'll be okay with this romantic relationship or I'll be okay with this person in my life and I'll be okay without this person in my life and truly feel that equanimity and peace from either one of those statements, it's also coming from a place of realizing I'll be okay because they're with me always, because we're one. I'll be okay whether I'm in a romantic relationship with this person or not because love is always with me. Love doesn't leave me or, you know, call it love, call it God, call it trust. And that comes back to true self-confidence, right? When we have true self-confidence, capital S self, we know that we are one with love, one with the divine, one with life, one with all that is. And so, oh. <laughs> sorry, Rosie, they were both laying down, but then I... I knocked a piece of firewood down where you see it down here. By the way, this is my dad's old camo shirt and some cool thrift store jeans that I got for $5 recently at Bargain Box in Cody, Wyoming. I love that they're becoming sisters. Good girl, Rosalind May. Good girl, Annie Opal. We sure miss Peter. We're happy to be a pack of three again, aren't we? Um, so true self-confidence is capital S self-confidence where you know that you are taken care of no matter what, because you are one with all that is. And, and from that place, you, you don't, you're not trying to grab things or control things or possess things or need things because you know, you have the self capital S self love, God, universe, confidence to know that you are taking care of no matter what. And that's true self-confidence. It's, it's confidence in the capital S self, not the body, not the ego, not, not, not anything of the external world, right? Abilities, relationships, possessions, skills, accomplishments. None of that generates real self-confidence because true self-confidence I believe, uh, honestly, probably is almost always, if it's not necessary, but often at least, connected to faith in a higher power, 
because and and therefore faith in a in a sense of unity uh and also faith in a sense that we're being looked out for because we are one with our creator right like i'm being looked out for i'm being loved because i'm one with love that made me and from that place i don't need i trust love so i don't need love to look any certain way I'll be okay with or without it because I know I am it is, is really that, right? And these symbols of, of love and like romantic relationships or, or like the relationships that we get to have with animals and, and with each other and with nature, it's incredible and it's such a gift and enjoy it and and know that it's a channel and an expression of love and also know that love looks a million different ways because the whole realization is that it's inside of us it's inside of me and so whatever the the situation looks like on the outside when i view it with love I know it's truth and I let it be what it is. So when I have true self-confidence, when I know that I am, I am, I am, I simply am. I don't need to be anything specific to be okay. I don't need things to go any certain way. I just am. And I am okay. And I am love. And therefore, I can feel lovingly towards any situation because I have the confidence that I am one with the love that made me. And I don't need to prove or possess anything or for love to look any certain way on the outside to know that that's there. And that is truly reaching that state where I am okay with it. I am okay without it. I am always okay exactly how things are. And from there, I can really love things. From there, I can really love things. Like you.